You know, I find this to be strange, considering he was all for Kamala. <sighs> and Kamala was super down with the woke. Ben Stiller says that woke America killed edgier comedy. You know, when I went to see Tropic Thunder, I laughed my behind off. And I want to make a distinction. I think there's a, a difference between dressing up like a black person or any other color that you're going to, you know, race that you're going to do and dressing up to degrade them to, you know, just, you know, just disparagingly, just, you know, talk about a race or portray a race in a, in a certain way that's just, you know. Um, Robert Downey Jr., I didn't consider that blackface, you know, coming up in the old days, and I'm not talking about me, but I'm talking about like the minstrel shows where they would wear like literally black paint on their face, paint huge white or pink lips on their face or whatever. You Like that stuff, that was blackface. You know what I'm saying? Um, I personally don't think there's anything wrong with comics, no matter what color they are. If they're doing an impression of somebody or whatever, if they want to dress up like that person, I think that that's fine. Um, but what those menstrual shows were doing, eh, eh, that, that was a totally different thing back in those times in Jim Crow and all that stuff. That, that was a different thing. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm not one of those people that jump on anybody for dressing up like a person because, you know, different races have done it at different times and, you know, during our, you know, the Hollywood years, you know, different movies and, like, I remember watching Soul Man when I was a kid, finding it really funny. He overdosed on tanning pills so that he could get a black scholarship. But I didn't look at it as him wearing blackface. I looked at it as him um, disguising himself as a black person through tanning pills. Like, I didn't see it as this whole, you know, but whatever. Um, but the way everyone is today, you know, with all the extra sensitivity and stuff, you know, that it's just everybody's offended by everything and anything, no matter what it is, there's no way that movie could exist now or be made now. It can exist now because it still exists, but it can't be made now, you know. Um, ben Stiller doubts a movie like Tropic Thunder would have been greenlit in today's woke climate. The 58-year-old actor who directed and starred in the now controversial 2008 uh, film said edgier comedy is just harder to do now in a new interview with Collider. When asked if the film like that, when asked if a film like that, which has since been labeled racially offensive... <laughs> could be made in the current environment. He replied, I doubt it. And you know, it was it was also a joke on the lengths that certain method actors are willing to go through to to get themselves into a role. You know, people starve themselves or live in a certain way just to get, you know, I, I, a lot of times I think that stuff is way out there. I don't, yeah, I'm an actor too. I, I would never go that far. I, I don't need to hurt or harm myself in any way or you know, certain method actors, I've heard of them needing therapy when they're done certain roles. Now, acting for me is supposed to be fun. So, I'm not willing to go to those links. Uh, if that's what I need to do to get an Oscar, I don't need it. <laughs> uh, he added definitely not the scale we made it at too, in terms of economics uh, and business. I think even at the time we were fortunate to get it made. I credit that actually to Steven Spielberg and DreamWorks. He read it and was like, all right, let's make this thing. It's a very inside movie when you think about it. He then referenced Robert Downey Jr.'s dicey role 
in the movie, which uh, has been criticized for its blackface. Like I said, to me, it's not blackface. I'm just like, <laughs> and he was the funniest character. I was just like, yo, this is the most hilarious black man impression that I've ever seen. He actually reminded me of certain dudes that I know. And that's why it was extra funny. Uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s character undergoes a fictional procedure called pigmentation alteration to portray a black soldier in a film. The idea of Robert playing this character, he's playing an African-American character, I mean, incredibly dicey, still is stated. Even at the time, of course, it was dicey too. The only reason we attempted it was I felt like it was a joke in very clear terms um, of who that joke was on. Actors trying to do anything to win awards, see? <laughs> but now, in this environment, I don't even know if I could have ventured to do it, to tell you the truth. I'm being honest. Last year, Stiller staunchly defended Tropic Thunder, which also starred Tom Cruise, Jack Black, Brandon T. Jackson and Matthew McConaughey and insisted he's proud of the film. Yeah, um, he denied issuing any apology on behalf of the hit comedy after he was targeted by woke millennials. <laughs> oh, God, man. <laughs> The movie was hilarious to me. I, Jack Black's character, hilarious. He, yeah, man, the movie's just funny. I, I, you know, do I think that comedy can go way too far? There can be certain things. There can be certain things, and it depends on who you are and what they're talking about. Um, but, I, you know, because I know some people out there say that comedy should just be left alone. A joke's a joke. Certain timing of certain things, especially around tragic events and stuff like that. You know, like the whole thing on the roast. Too soon? You know, it, it's it's a joke on the reality of maybe this joke is really too soon after this particular tragic event. You know what I mean? Um, I, I do not think that 100% of all comedy in all of its forms is 100% justified and okay. I do believe, though, the majority of it's fine. I do believe the majority of it's fine, though. So whatever, 90-something percent of it is fine. And when you get offended, you might be a little too sensitive to something or, you know, it may be a little too soon. It may be the fault of the... Uh, the comedian or how they worded it or how they delivered it. You know, they say it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Sometimes you can deliver a joke that would normally be considered offensive if said in one way and another. It's like hilarious. So it's an art form, you know, you just have to do it right. Well, I heard Elon Musk made fun of him and said he went full, you know what? And I'm just like, man, we can't even say that word anymore. It's, because basically it's like, it's like, wait a minute, it's like, aren't you on the left and for all this stuff? But you're saying that that's what killed edgier comedy? So what, you know what I mean? <laughs> 10 million subscribers.